opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn, and prepares to castle. Petrov's defense immediately attacks white's unprotected e4 pawn, while ignoring black's unprotected e5 pawn. Nx e5 captures the undefended e5 pawn and places the knight in the center, where it controls many important squares. d6 attacks the knight on e5 and allows the light squared bishop to develop. This moves the knight to safety. It is the last book move. That was a free pawn. It is best. This pins a knight to the king. It is best. This defends the attacked knight. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This threatens to win a knight. It is excellent. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a knight. It is excellent. This prepares the bishop for development. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. This moves the pawn to safety. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. This threatens to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is good. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a bishop. It is a mistake. 